heart wants what lies in the ziggurat, but before it lies that wretched thing. The dome of the forgotten, a hollow place wrecked with echoes of suffering and misery and pain and... Well, hmm. Give me this real quick. Perhaps I should head through the dungeon. As foreboding as it seems, I know it's less terrible than that cursed dome. Whenever you're scared and alone, remember that you are your own hero. I need a hero. I'm on out over here until the end of the night. I hear crows. Dude, this area is beautiful. Holy shit, I just noticed it now. So, I'm actually gonna go head back to that other place, because there's one other area that I could go. And even though it requires some patience and timing, I think it's the better place to go for now. Especially after hearing what he said. The dungeon down below being less terrifying than that cursed dome. You motherfuckers! Oh well, bought another healing on for a reason. Whoa! That is the most Castlevania thing I have seen this entire game. Oh, that! I thought that was an item. I'm dumb. Yeah. Red Lord's ear. That was apparently a Red Lord. Wow, slow and stupid. Ow, I was hoping I could stand on that. I need speed. Oh, they're actually unsynced. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh! I thought there was floor beneath me. Ah. Uh. Well, that's two thousand dollars I'm never getting back. Unless I kill things and get it back, in which case I am gonna get it back. I'm curious though. That's really good. I think that's the first proper shield you encounter in the whole game, where it just defends against 100% slash. Always drop an item, forcing me to jump up twice. You fuck. Please, you think I backed down from a fight only a, a bunch of times? Sorry I talk shit about you, buddy. Now... Yeah! Yeah! Hey, get back here. Fuck you, think you don't. Ah, this game. I can tell it's true that Dark Souls feel because great swords are seemingly overpowered. If there was PvP besides just local PvP, I'm sure it'll be underpowered because you could just dodge right through it. But 
still slightly overpowered if you were bad at dodging or had another fat build. Come on. Thank you. Hey, more soldier poems. Don't need those, I bought a shit ton of them. It's the suicide squad. Oh. Man. First enemies in a while, I was actually legitimately gonna shit talk before fighting them. And they raped me. I was gonna make a joke about the movie Suicide Squad that's coming up. Another stone guide. Those are my favorite of all things. Stone guides are fucking useful because you can teleport to them all the time. That and you can teleport with them all the time. Very vertical level. How'd that guy die? Oh. Right, we're going to uh, come back there. Da -na -na, na -na 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 -na. Yes, a blacksmith. That's actually what I wanted more than anything. Oh, this has got to be a secret. What? See how many more slices we can do now, by the way? Ah, wheel of fate. Okay, that did not go good. I knew it too, you heard me cry. What's the blades killer? Oh, I don't have any Lord's Orders anymore. Well, I can still upgrade this once I get my souls back. And I definitely want to start upgrading this. Time to go get my shit back. Shit back. Get, 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 get my shit back. Just notice this item. I was not run away. We also need ourselves an amber idol too. If you don't remember why, because it's been a while, kind of. Uh, we need the amber idol so that we can upgrade this sword of ours, this trusty dusty, to the status of, uh, fuck me, to the status of a boss weapon. Blah, blah, blah. I think we're starting to reach that point in the game that usually happens in a Souls game as well. Amber Idol? Oh, hell yeah, baby! Uh, I think we're starting to reach that point that happens in Souls games, usually, where uh, 
Oh god, that was terrifying. Well, you're starting to get a massive amount of souls, at least a massive amount more than you're used to. And it starts to feel like a, uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit more than a halfway point. You fuck. You fuck stay. <sighs> a big reason why I say I think we're starting to reach that halfway-ish type of point is because even after facing the boss, we had around like 15,000 souls. And after going through this area maybe three times on accident, four times now, we have 24,000 accumulated souls. And that was after leveling up things. Well, leveling up a couple times, but using our souls once. So personally, I feel like we're starting to reach that point where they're like, yeah, it's time to power level you up, big man. And also, now if I want to with my other characters, I know who to kill for Amber Idols. I just need to come down here because I've already gotten up to this point with them. I started not to care and it paid off. God, it feels so good. Like, I'm sure this might look good, maybe, if you're into gore, but if you guys get this game, or have gotten this game, and holy fuck, have gotten this game by now, holy shit, this feels so good. If you've gotten this game, highly recommend making a two-sword build, because the other builds all feel fantastic. But this one, just something about it. Something special. Fuck me. Well, he's dead. Did he drop anything? Nah. Alright, I want to check something out. Because I kind of noticed something. Over here, I think this is just a straight up shortcut. Right. I forget that I have this sometimes. Oh! Okay, I realized midway through that fall why it's important that you hold the direction that you're going when you jump. Yeah. I think I'll meet you down there. You've seen me go through this area enough. <laughs> 